back everybody this is always back with another video on the channel today i'm going to be doing a comparison video of autocad 2020 running on a mac and also on a windows side by side now i started my youtube channel creating autocad tutorials i've been focusing on software development web development mobile application development uh, for last few years so i haven't been creating much videos about autocad well, I'm going to start creating AutoCAD tutorials again because I've got my hands on AutoCAD running on a Mac operating system. But this video, I'm going to compare AutoCAD running on a Mac versus running on a Windows. So I'm going to open up this acat.dwt file, which will get us a new project. There we go. So now, if you know AutoCAD or if you've played with AutoCAD on a Windows, you might be seeing a lot of things are different compared to windows so let's take a look at how it looks like on a window so here's autocad running i'm going to start drawing and you will notice the difference between the ui well if you know the basics of how to draft a plan or make a 3d model in any application you will find your way around but here in this video we let's compare the ui differences but Obviously, AutoCAD running on a Mac will do pretty much everything which you can do with Windows version. I'm not sure how it's going to perform. I'll be creating some plans using AutoCAD on a Mac. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to compare the UI in this video. So the first thing you notice that the UI for this drafting panel is on the left compared to on a windows which is on the top so if i go to home you will see all the options uh these are the panels i guess they're called panels so all of them are basically on the top and i know uh from the from my autocad knowledge that you can configure this the way you like it so, and this kind of ui on windows autocad came in like in 2000 uh, i think 10 version before that autocad had a different ui Okay, so here we got a home panel. You've got all your uh, command palettes, like draw command palettes, modify, annotation, layers, block, properties, groups, clipboard, and view, right? All of these things will be available here as well, but they are like on the left. So you got a draw panel, hatch panel, block, modify, text, dimension, later, table, and a parametric, and pretty much all of them are available here as well. If I go to insert menu, you will see uh, there's no insert menu here, but you have this uh, actually the menu on the menu bar. You can click on this insert and you have this block WD, uh, DWD reference PDF. So the commands that you will see here, you will have those commands from this menu right on top. Also, you will notice that you have some other palettes like insert palette, view, manage output add-ons collaborate i cannot 100 percent guarantee that these all options will be available in the mac version because i haven't played with the mac version much but i assume you can do all the drafting and 3d modeling uh, in mac version i'm just concerned about the collaboration part of probably not implemented yet okay so now if we look at this modeling menu here i don't know call it palette mod, menu whatever it is but if i click on the modeling you'll see a solid surface mesh ucs draw so on a windows version you're gonna have to click on this button here and i go to a basic 3d uh 3d basics or 3d modeling okay click on 3d modeling you'll see the top home solid surface mesh that came up you gotta visualize and i'm not sure if the visualize is here as well so there we have a visualize but you got only two commands right now but on a windows version you'll see you got a lot more so obviously the windows version of autocad is much more mature i would say by looking at just the UI, there's a lot of options that I think I might have to find out or they're not available out of the, you know, just right on a default view. If I go back to Windows version and we're going to go to drafting and annotation viewport 
and then here you'll see we have layers palette here okay within layer palettes you can turn on off make layers smash layers or you know layer related commands those commands you'll find here these are all the layers if i look at this reference manager you'll have something like you know uh, a manage here that the commands are available there as well and then you have some blocks uh, blocks are pretty important that's the command that you go to insert and you have insert block or you can create block so you could actually work with the blocks in AutoCAD Mac version as well okay so you got some block library as well on the top right you can sign into your Autodesk account which I have if you are a student or affiliated with any university you can actually get AutoCAD for free uh, for I think a year depending on how long your course is. This is a quick comparison and look and feel of AutoCAD running on a Mac versus a Windows version. If you are considering buying a Mac just for AutoCAD, I would still highly recommend not to do that unless you have other use case for getting a Mac. If it's just for AutoCAD, I think Windows version, it's still the superior one and it performs much better. It has some GPU support as well. So if I look at this button here, you'll see the graphics performance. So there's a lot more options available here, which I was unable to find in the Mac version. Mac version is pretty good if you already have a Mac then you have an option to install AutoCAD but if you don't have a Mac and you're considering buying a Mac just because of AutoCAD let me tell you don't do it a uh, version of uh, Windows version is pretty good and it offers a lot more than you can get on a Mac compared to money wise so you spend less money on a Windows computer and get better performance compared to you're gonna spend money on uh, on a Mac now on my screen you can see I'm running AutoCAD the Windows version and also a Mac version on the same computer and I'm able to still record screen and create this video so the reason for that is because I am using MacBook Pro 16 inch with 32 GB RAM uh, that's how I'm able to run Windows 10 using parallels and running AutoCAD on that. I haven't really tested out the performance, but it seems pretty good. I can actually work with 2D and 3D uh, using parallels. But if you are considering a Mac for AutoCAD, you're going to have to make sure you have a good enough spec. Like I would highly recommend to get at least 16 inch MacBook Pro with at least 16 GB RAM. Well, the baseline comes with 16 GB. Uh, but consider getting 32 GB uh, for the future proofing as well. And because this required a lot of graphics performance, when you have a 3D models and you're going to render them, uh, I would highly recommend to get the MacBook at least with a discrete GPU. Uh, if you really go with the lowest, like the base model MacBook Air, I'm not talking about the M1 chip, but you know macbook air like all the ones uh, i wouldn't recommend them at all for autocad because it, it will not run fine i've tested it on a macbook air and a macbook Pro dual core one uh, it doesn't perform very well so that was my quick comparison autocad on a windows and a mac i'll be creating a lot more tutorials on a mac version and i will do a full crash course on autocad version 2020 as well so stay tuned for that subscribe to the channel and i'll talk to you guys in the next video cheers bye